Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Thanks for coming back to part three of uh, my uh, tutorial on stars, nebula, uh, special effects, all that sort of thing. Now you may notice this picture is different than parts one and two. Like I had said in the uh, earlier uh, tutorials, I think I did, um, YouTube has been messing with my videos and there were some haters out there that flagged and so I basically had to recreate the whole tutorial. Um, I had parts one and two, I re-uploaded those, but this is the third one. This is a new nebula and star field that I've uploaded. I've done a few little things. Let's go in here and look so I can show you what I did. I've done the, the star field in the background, obviously. We know that from part one. Part two, we created the nebula. I added a few more little tweaks. I made the colors a little bolder, which of course you can practice to do that. And then I also went in with the smudge tool. I used a, a rough brush, about 50, 60 percent. And I've gone in and I've smudged some of this stuff to make those real fluffy looking nebula, that sort of thing. You just take the, the uh, brush. I don't want to really do too much more because I like it how it is, but you can go out and then in, out and then in, and it sort of fluffs them up like that. Okay. Now let's uh, bring that back to normal. Okay. So now what, what we're going to do is, let me get this back to kind of where I was at before. Okay. Alrighty. So now we're going to add some special effects to this. We're going to do some star twinkles. Uh, we're going to do some uh, lens flares and a supernova, exploding star, that sort of thing, real cool looking. Okay, so what we're going to do first is um, switch to a uh, light color. You can do any color, whatever stars you think you want to do. Now, if you notice on the background here, I'm going to I'm going to make some of these stars twinkle. Okay, so they're going to ha have like a lens flare, like you see on the Hubble shots, where you see those uh, crosshatch marks. Uh, that's actually I think it's lens speculation or something they call it. It's actually not a good thing, but it, people think it's normal now, so they think it's cool looking. So let's add that first. So I'm going to create a new layer, okay, a new blank layer. I got it on white. You could use whatever color you want. I mean, some people you might want to do the star colors, but I just do a general white. And we're going to do the brush tool, but I need that star, the uh, star brush. And right now I'm on the just the default brush set, so we want to go to this is Photoshop 7, so we want to go to the assorted brushes. Are you sure you want to change? Yes, okay. There we go. Now there are two sets of star brushes. There's one that's a 25 pixel, and there's also one that's a 48 pixel. Now some of those star twinkles you see on the deep space shots, the little crosshatch, instead of being an X, it's like an up and down like a T. Uh, I, you can make your own brushes if you want to do those T's. I just do this because I'm lazy. I don't have, a, I don't have one set right now. Okay, so I'm going to do the 25 first, and now I'm going to look at the shot and see where I want to do some of the stars. Okay, there's one right there. Maybe let's try that. So let's do the brush, and right on top of that, there's a nice little star twinkle. There's another one right there. Okay, let's back this out a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see where else can we put some star twinkles. There's one right there. That looks good. Now let's switch the brush size and let's use the larger twinkle. Okay, and let's find another one in here. There's one right there. That's good. And let's put one more. Let's find one down. How about right in there? There we go. Okay, so there's some star twinkles. We got them in that layer. Okay, we're not going to merge any layers or anything, but what we are going to do is go back to the nebula layer. Okay, so there's the star twinkles on its own separate layer. There's the nebula layer above the stars. So let's go back to the nebula layer. Okay, let's leave the star twinkles on. Now here's the cool part. We go to the dodge tool. I'm going to do the highlights. Now we're assuming that in space, obviously, where those stars are, they're going to be interacting, shining, doing whatever on the nebula. So you take the dodge tool and you go into the nebula See, we're doing this on a nebula layer. You're going to brighten that, but you just do it in random areas because it's you're assuming that the nebula is sort of like a three-dimensional, well, it is a three-dimensional object, so it's not going to shine on all the places. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, that lightens it up real good. Okay, now let's go to some of the other stars and lighten those up. Okay. Showing you down 
here on that. Okay. Let's uh, back that off a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, maybe going a little quick for you, but just, uh, you know, I'm assuming you, you know a little bit about Photoshop, so this isn't any great stretch for you. Okay. That one right there, we're going to lighten that. around that, maybe lighten down across here. Now see where the blue and the red have crossed. They made some nice purple colors. We can go there. Okay. Let's back out of there a little bit. Okay, we got two more twinkles, I think, to do. That one right there. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, there's that. Let's get a little bit of the red over here. Yeah, you don't want to do it just all in one general area. You want to, it's going to look three-dimensional, so it, it's just going to hit on certain areas, like one is closer, one is farther. There we go. Okay, back that out a little bit. Let's get the other star. There we go, that big one up there. That one, I think, is going to be a real big star, so we're going to get, it's going to hit all this part of the nebula over here, a little bit down here, maybe right there on that end, a little bit down here. A little bit over there, a little bit over there. There, okay. Let's back out of that. There we go. Now see that adds some three-dimensional quality to it. Can you see? Okay, see how they're, well, they're twinkling? It's lightening up around there. I like that one right there. Lighten up a little around there, a little around there. Okay, so that's the uh, twinkles and the highlighting of the nebula layer. Now the final thing we're going to do is we're going to add... A, an exploding star, a splodin' star, as some people would say. Okay, so there's a neat little trick I learned it on a news group. So let's add a new layer. Okay, this is going to be above the star twinkle layer. I'm going to fill it with black. It's very important, the black part. Okay, now we're going to do a filter, render, lens flare. Okay, now here in the um, the uh, display window, you can click it and that's going to move it around to where you want it. So, and it also, if you notice, it changes the how the lens flare is working, how they lay out, like up, down, left, right, that sort of thing. So let's do it about like that. Now the one thing that's very important is don't get it too close to the edges. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, and which type of lens flare? Mm -hmm. I like the first type, the 50 to 300 millimeter zoom because it gives it more of an orangey cast. Let's do the brightness down a little bit. There we go. Ah, that looks cool. Okay, now here's the neat part. Because it's on a black layer, set this to screen, and everybody say it with me, screen makes the black invisible. Pow! Isn't that cool? Right on top of that. Now, I'm assuming that this star is closer to the observer. So it's not going to be interacting. I'm not going to be doing any more highlighting on the nebula layer. So, now here's the other neat thing. Because it's on the black layer, I can move it around. Okay, isn't that cool? Now the one thing to watch out for, I don't know if you can see it here on the YouTube video, you don't want to get this lens flare too close to the edge because it'll leave a light, a very light white line. I don't know if you can see it up here. So don't do it too close to the edge. There, that shows the lens flare. Okay, so let's, there's your exploding star. And here, let me get this a little smaller and I'll zoom it out a little bit to fit to the screen so we can see everything. Okay. There we go. Okay. So there's your exploding star. We can move it around wherever we want. There's your nebula. Here we exploding star. Star twinkles. Nebula. Star background. Pam, pam, pam. There you go. Merge visible, and there you got a nice, neat little desktop. Uh, nice uh, background if you're a game creator and you need a, a, a star field for something like that. So there you go. It's just that easy. Thanks for viewing my video, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Uh, if you like what you saw, please visit my website. That's ccgsales.ws. Http colon slash slash ccgsales.ws. There's no www. So once again, thanks and have a great day.